Am I the butthole for not letting my mother identify as a grandmother to my child on social media? There's a lot of background to this but the short version is that I, then 17, now female, 27, got pregnant as a teenager, stayed with the baby daddy, had another kid with him, then he dumped me. Mom, then 39, now 49, said some really horrible things, and refused to act as a grandma to my two kids, ages female, 7 and 9 m. I'm now married to someone else, and we had a baby back in January. Now I've had a child in wedlock, mum wants to be a grandma. Can't find a place to slip this in organically but my husband also had a child from before the marriage, a 4 year old, who mum treats the same as my older kids. I didn't even tell her when I had my newborn, and she found out along with everyone else, when I announced the birth on social media a couple weeks ago. The actual birth occurred a few months ago, we held off on announcing until last month. When we announced on Facebook, this was also when mum learned that the baby had been born. I already told dad and stepmom personally. This caused a fight between us and I blocked her for a bit. I've unblocked her a few days ago, gone on her profile, and literally the top 10 posts are just about being a grandma. I then made a few passive aggressive comments on her posts about how she's been a grandma for almost a decade now, and she's never met my newborn. A few hours later I saw my comments had been deleted, so I posted on my page that I was incredibly grateful to my baby's grandparents, my dad, my stepmom, and my husband's parents, for all the love and support they had shown to me, my husband, my kids, and this baby, and how grateful I was for family. A few people were like original poster you forgot your mom and I just responded that everyone who should be mentioned is mentioned already. Mom has called me and yelled slash cried over the phone, saying I'm a horrible daughter and making her feel and look like an crap mother slash grandmother and I need to take the post down. I refused. This has caused a schism with several people thinking I shouldn't have aired our dirty laundry in public and that mum's posts do nothing to affect me while my post was designed to hurt mum, so I should take my post down, while the other camp think that she deserved it and I merely corrected public record. Info, she only wants to be grandma to the baby. The older kids, female, 7, 9 m, and step 4 f, are not allowed to call her grandma because it makes her feel old. Am I the butthole? Nope, not the butthole. F that crap. You don't want a relationship with all my kids, step or bio, you don't get a relationship with any of them. Yup. We stopped going over to a set of grandparents when the kids started noticing the blatant favoritism. Best thing we ever could have done. If you don't love all my kids you don't get any of my kids. We've lived a few hours away from my grandparents on both sides my whole life. My cousins all live very close to the respective grandparents. My mom's mom, despite having far more of a hand in my cousins' lives has never treated us different a day in our lives. We all get the same money and cards, the same treatment when visiting and when I met my partner my gran immediately drew him into the fold, and he also gets Christmas and birthday money, not so much now, Alzheimer's can go to hell. My paternal grandparents blatantly favored my cousins. To the point where I noticed it at a very early age. I remember many occasions being yelled at for something one of my cousins had done, or if they knew he had done it, I was at fault for winding him up. Thankfully the cousin who is closer in age to me always had my back but it ended up creating a massive rift between me and the older one, we don't talk now unless we have to. I was the target of many cruel jibes, all said to be jokes, of course. The one blessing is that when my grandfather passed my grand became a lot nicer. I can actually talk to her now, we're both crafty, and she definitely treats the three of us the same now, which pretty much cements in my mind that my grandfather just never liked me all that much. Probably cause I was real similar to my mum, and he didn't like my mum. Phew that turned into a rant. Edit, this comment blew up. For everyone who replied to this with their similar stories, thank you. It helps a little with complex emotions when you see someone who feels how you do and there were some incredibly valuable perspectives mixed in there. You're all awesome. This is super interesting to read because I was the closer cousin growing up. Of the seven cousins, five lived near my grandparents, but my mom was just much closer to them than her siblings. So we were over there all the time. Into adulthood, I started helping them out and doing stuff with them on my own. But they never showed favoritism. They treated us all the same. 
My grandmother was adamant that the grandkids have college help, and we are all entitled to it, regardless of how we treated them. That's not to say they didn't air their grievances, my grandma would talk crap about my ruder cousins, but even the buttholes got help. There was no you never come to visit or anything thrown in anyone's face. They also gave us all the same restrictions, like no one was allowed to drive Gramps' fancy car, no matter what. But as the one that was there I felt some kind of way about it. Like, I'm the one reading my blind grandma her crosswords and dressing my grandpa's surgical wound. Shouldn't I get more? And the answer is no. The more I got was being a part of their lives, something which my cousins didn't have growing up, mostly through no fault of their own. And now that my grandparents are dead they can't make that time up. I really appreciate your perspective. Edit, thanks everyone for all the awards. My grandma was abroad from Chicago and Gramps was a farm boy from rural Illinois who joined the Navy to get away from cows. I don't know that they'd get Reddit, but I think they'd be tickled I was talking about them on the internet. Shouldn't I get more? And the answer is no. The more I got was being a part of their lives, something which my cousins didn't have growing up, mostly through no fault of their own. And now that my grandparents are dead they can't make that time up. Wow. This kind of breaks my heart because I was the faraway grandkid, as well as my sister, to my paternal grandparents, but I loved them so much, and they never showed favoritism even though we could only visit once a year and my other cousins lived locally. I wish I could have spent more time with them, they were wonderful people and had stories I wish I could have heard firsthand from them. They both died when I was in college, and I was across the country, so I couldn't attend their funerals. I would have gladly read to my grandma where she have turned blind. And I'm a nurse so wound care would have been easy. At least my dad was there both times to say goodbye to his parents. My maternal grandmother though favorited her favorite child's children above my other cousins and myself and my sister. It was obvious and it really pissed off my mom and her twin sister slash my aunt. They didn't care that they weren't the favorite children, but they really cared that the grandkids weren't treated equally. Now that my grandma is older, 85, she says she regrets having favorites and wishes she had relationships with all of us. Did I mention those cousins lived the farthest away and didn't visit as much as my mom did? My granddad though never had favorites and loved us all the same. He died a little over a month ago and I miss him. It's their loss if they choose not to have a relationship with their grandchildren equally. Yeah, grandma should never even meet this baby. I'm from a family where the grandparents prioritized some kids while totally ignoring the others, dependent on skin color and how much we lip slash acted like our mother's people, and that crap is knock on effects that traveled down decades. Heart. Expects. That's just awful that someone would do that to their grandkids. Not the butthole. This one strikes a nerve. My sister married a man who already had a daughter who was a year older than my oldest son. We refuse to call her step or half, as in half siblings to my sister's bio kids with her dad, because she isn't a thing to be measured in comparison to others in the family unit. Someone at her school asked her who I was, and she looked at me all panicked and I said I was her aunt. Her bio mom's big on labeling things regardless if it's true or necessary. There was no long explanation or diminishing what she is to me because she isn't blood related. She is my niece and I'll forever love her to pieces. If you know that your mother is going to be preferential to one quarter of your kids because of her skewed views of family then you're doing right protecting all the children from that. I just love your turn of phrase here she isn't a thing to be measured in comparison to others in the family. Balls to that. I have five kiddos, two from earlier relationship, three from current, and they're just siblings. It's never even occurred to us or them to justify the relationship with half. I'm especially amused by her not letting the other kids call her grandma because she'll feel old. Far as I'm concerned, you don't want to be called grandma, you don't get to be grandma. Yup she's just getting what she asked for. I mean I don't agree with putting everything on Facebook, because I do think generally that people don't need to know your family's ins and outs, but she did start it. It would however be obvious she's in crap grandparent when she never sees the baby anyway but I get that you don't want people to be confused about it from the outside. Not the butthole and if she's not willing to have a relationship with all your kids don't let her near any of them, she sounds like a bit of a nightmare to be honest, good luck. Everyone sucks here. You have like four kids to care for now, block your mom on everything and don't Facebook like a teenager. 
Can't believe I had to scroll so far for this. I was going to say the same. Reminds me how many of the people passing judgment here are probably teenagers themselves. It amazes me how often people give a not the butthole just because someone else was a butthole first but two wrongs don't make a right. I'm over 35 years old. I get what you're saying, but original poster's mom is lying about her on a public forum. At what point do you get to set the record straight or defend yourself? You would just let people say anything about you and your children no matter how false? Not the butthole. Grandparents who think they can selectively choose when to be grandparents don't deserve the title. Keep her blocked, and don't post pics of low online, cause she will find a way to steal them and put them on her social media. Maybe block her number two, and stop engaging with her online, passive aggressively or otherwise. Epping this. My dad's mother had no life with me. She didn't even attempt to be there for me through my time growing up. It wasn't until I was 19 and in college. Not the butthole, original poster. Everyone sucks here. You didn't need to post the comment where you knew someone would say what about your mom? And you'd go in and explain. I mean, I get it. Mentally, I'm 15 years old and I love that crap. You knew it would get to her and it worked. Hee hee. But I try to play adult most of the time. You could have left her blocked and refused to see her and at some point people would just ask her you talk about being a grandma, where are the pictures of you and the kids? And she wouldn't provide. Oh, and make sure she can't get the pics from your FB page and repost them to pretend she has a relationship with the kids. Everyone sucks here, keep your drama off of social media. Your mom sucks for doing what she did but your response sucks too. Just cut contact with her and move on with your life. Not the butthole. Yeah, it was a bit middle school to make that post but I totally get that you saw red after reading how she's loving being a grandmother to a child she has never met after spending the last decade ignoring your oldest children completely. That would have sent me over the edge, too. Your mother is a selfish jerk. Of course her posts affected you, she was lying about you and your family pretending to a relationship that does not exist in order to get likes on social media. Someone like that doesn't get to call themselves grandma without being publicly challenged. Not the butthole. Being family doesn't give her the right to decide when to act like family. I'd make it very clear to her, she can claim being grandma to all your kids, or she needs to just let you live how you want. These are your kids, so it's your choice, no one else's. Don't let anyone make you feel guilty of your choices either. Everyone sucks here. Your mom is a butthole, but perpetuating the drama on social media is super cringe. If you want nothing to do with the drama, don't create any. Everyone sucks here your mom for the obvious reasons and you for posting it all over Facebook. Looks like you could both use some growing up. Not the butthole. I had a similar situation, except it was only the oldest that the woman that raised me acknowledged. My other three have no idea who she is. She showed up to my five-year-old's birthday party, second oldest, and threw a screaming crying temper tantrum that I wouldn't let her take my oldest to the mall to go shopping in the middle of the five-year-old's party. Obviously I was playing favorites and just didn't want my oldest to have anything new. She's literally the oldest, she gets everything new. Laughing out loud. She was permanently cut out not long after that. There were a few more incidents, but my kids never missed her, and she wouldn't have provided any kind of positive experience for them, ever. She had tricked me into signing guardianship over to her while I was under anesthesia when I had my oldest, so I felt like I had to let her around, or she'd take off with my oldest. As far as posting on social media, people post thank yous to people all the time. I literally just did it on mine. I mentioned one of my kids that did something nice for me. You did nothing wrong. People who butted in and said you forgot your mom, you simply told them you thanked who you meant to think. Your mom probably put them up to it. Block her. Block her and move on. She brings nothing to your family but stress and resentment. Not the butthole. She treated you and her other grandchildren like crap, why should she expect you to pretend that never happened? Not the butthole. Time to go no contact. 
not the butthole. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.